Chris's, Toronto FC, German Warriors MLS next. I don't think it's with the weather, but it's freezing again. I'm on camera duty, my hands are gonna freeze up more likely. And hopefully they don't kick my camera while I do this intro. But group stage, Dallas Cup, we'll go see what's happening. I wanna see how these boys from Toronto are gonna do. Never seen them play before, but I know this is what y'all like. Y'all like the MLS next, y'all like the, the European club, so I'm keeping it for y'all, live and direct. Thank you. 
one nil. Toronto FC. Hockey looking the more dominant team out here. It was just the ball better. Bring the bases together more. Create more better opportunities. And as I'm recording this, I just missed another opportunity. So one nil. I'll say probably at the 20th minute. Looking all right. Looking all right. We like it. That's 2 0 now. The Germans, blood, that's Germans. <laughs> Looking toothless, high key, bro. Toothless. And they got bro in the midfield for Toronto FC. I think number 16. Looking nice, nice. We like bro. Or number 15, excuse me. I'm seeing him. I'm seeing him right now. He looking nice. So that's 2 0. First half still. Frankfurt loses the day up out of here, man. They're going to take that long trip out to Germany. I think Toronto. Bro, just scored another goal while I'm away. I actually missed it. That's 3 0. And this is rap, so looking out here, bro. It's about to be a freaking route.
Hey, these boys made subs in the first half. And they took off number 16. The right back, he was looking kind of nice. Oh my god, I can't believe they just missed that. Missed a good chance. Every time I pick up this freaking camera, bro, it's like they're about to score. Somebody scores, so I'm gonna have to chill on this. But subs in the first half, that's deep. It means you're down bad, and they are down bad. It's 3 0. And it's only now they're looking lifeless, or not lifeless, look like they have some life. So we'll see how they handle it, but it's gonna take a miracle to get back for show. Again, 22 and all, bro. Look at Brody. Halftime here, three 0 to Toronto FC over Frankfurt, man. And again, Frankfurt, toothless for the most part, toothless. I didn't expect that we got their game against uh, Sao Paulo, and they were, you know, way more threatening uh, when attacking than they are now. They can't even string together like six passes together, bro. It was just like in the back over here. So I don't know what's happening. I think they probably demoralized a little bit now, especially with this result. They're out of Dallas Cup for sure, for a fact. Uh, Toronto FC, I'm not necessarily sure. I think they have to win this game and then win the next one. See if they get like a um, wild card spot, I believe. But they're playing Sao Paulo their last game, so I'm already chalking the L up for them. Like they nice, but Sao Paulo, bro, they different, bro. You seen it from the first game, you seen it from the game you played against Monterey. They different, so I don't know about that, pal. So in here, I don't think anyway. 3 0 here, it's freezing. I'm on camera duty, doing the GoPro shit as well. You know, hustling, dog. You feel me? Thanks for support. Lock in.
Yeah, that's 4-0. It's over with out here, bro. It's over with. They over there screwing up the celebration, getting mad at that more than anything that has happened in the game. It's wrapped. Frankly, I don't know what happened from that Sao Paulo game, but y'all done dropped off, man. 4-0, Toronto. Oh boy, so back in
four to one. They put one back. And he's got somebody sent off. I don't know how justified that was. Just an aerial challenge. It kind of happens like that sometimes, but they're down 10 men, down four to one. It was probably less than like 15 minutes left here. So, I mean, at halftime, I thought it was wrapped. You know what I'm saying? So, ooh. Blech. I took out that shy steeple fast, but it's been over for a minute, high key. You know, it's just basically waiting for the ultimate conclusion. So, Toronto FC, though, I've been rocking with them, bro. They have some good players out here. Like, number 17 on the wing, we rocking with you, dog. Again, 15 in the midfield, we rocking with you. Number four, that dog, I think he's uh, their right back or center back. He's the center back. He's a dog, high key, we rocking with you. And yeah, pretty solid. You know, these MLS clubs, bro, we're doing well internationally. And I feel like we've always kind of done well on the youth level internationally, but it didn't really translate to the national team uh, as much. Obviously now we got some players that play internationally on the national team, Police Luke McKenney, X, Y, and Z, looking good. And we need some more of that. But I think slowly, you know, we're gonna start seeing some of the youth play translate into uh, higher levels at the international stage. So hopefully that's the case anyway. So what they're trying to do, but they're all this money for them. Well, y'all paying like four grand a year if you're not playing on the MLS next team. So, hey man, US soccer dog. Story for another day, four to one, Toronto FC.
Oh. So that's a game, that's 5-1, to one. Toronto FC over Frankfurt, a beatdown that I did not expect, considering how Frankfurt played against Sao Paulo opening day on Dallas Cup, but so the cookie crumbles, I think maybe they lost some confidence, you know, because of that L, I'm not sure what happened, you know, they had my boy Bellingham out here, number 7, the, the left winger I was saying about in the first video, and a couple other good players out here playing, starting, and they didn't really have the juice, maybe it's just because they're playing, you know, 90 minute high level matches back to back days. You can lose some juice. You know, it's also kind of taxing on the body. I don't know how I did it when I was younger. It's kind of wild. Like right now, I'd be like Ice Pack, Norma Tech type deal. But you can't really knock Toronto, man. Like I'm saying, like American soccer is getting a lot better on the international level. We usually compete really well because of stuff like this. And Dallas Cup and Jennifer Adidas. Obviously, we'll see that next week. And we'll probably see some MLS next teams here in the knockout stages here in Dallas Cup. So I'm happy with it, bro. It's like, damn, like before we used to have tournaments like this, and like we just think that we'd get our ass beat out here, you know? And now MLS teams are blowing some open ass. So who knew? But thank you for supporting Olay Football TV live and direct. Like, subscribe. We out.